What's going on, y'all? Uh, so, Studio One 5.2 has been released. I watched the sneak peek uh, because I'm a Sphere member, and there are some features I couldn't wait to get my hands on, and now that I've gotten my hands on them and tried them out, uh, there's two features that I feel that could have been better. Well, I don't want to say better. I'll say more useful, at least for my workflow, uh, that I'll show you here. Uh, so, the first one is that when we group tracks, we can now, let's do these tracks here. And we select multiple tracks. I guess I shouldn't say group technically. But when we select multiple tracks, we can, the pan will group as well. Isn't it a feature, at least from my workflow, that that I find really useful? I know Joe mentioned that he does background vocals this way, but uh, when I pan my background vocals, I pan them in different uh, places so they're not sitting in the same space so I would never pan like this um, not a right or wrong way to do it it's just my preference what would have made this feature uh, more useful for me is that normally when I have backgrounds uh, let's say these two tracks oh, I've already done it here you can see I've panned you know one left one right if this panning was inverted that would have been killer to me where I can grab you know, two tracks at a time and invert the pan where I'm sliding one left and it slides the other one right at the same time. Or even a fader inversion too, where I'm pulling up the fader on one track and it's pulling down on another one. I think that would have been uh, more useful, at least uh, for me. Uh, the second one is this new, let's zoom in here, this a new clip version. So what I thought that this was, was, so when I do a layer, let's say I wanted to affect this one event here, but didn't want to event, uh, didn't want to affect the rest of the track. If I do a new layer, it's going to do a layer for the whole track. So what I thought that with this new clip version, I could do a new clip version, and now I can affect this one and then quickly flip between uh, the first version or another version that I have, and there's just no way to do it quickly. I would think that just clicking on this on the number version you see here would do it, but it doesn't, and you know they say that these different versions live in the pool, which would mean I'd have to right click, go to audio, go to select and pool. And then I've got the versions here and then drag this back in. That's just, that's a lot, um, which I don't know. I don't see myself using, I don't see a way for me to use this feature right now. Maybe I just don't completely understand it, but if I was able to create multiple versions of this event and then quickly flip between them as if they were a layer that would have been a lot more useful for me uh, for me having to go into the pool to revert back to these uh, previous clip versions it just seems like a lot of a lot of work to get back to something so uh, those are the two features i just feel could have been more useful as far as the other features, uh, the the smart MIDI tool, that's killer. I really like that. Uh, the, uh, what are they calling it? The safety feature where when Studio One crashes now, um, you can, you know, it may show what plugin caused it to crash. And uh, Studio One crashes on me multiple times a day. I mean, I think, you know, somewhere maybe studio one four i think it just started to get kind of unstable with me and i've just been dealing with it but being able to see now what's causing it to crash will be really helpful so <laughs> in a weird way i can't wait for it to crash so i can uh, try uh, that feature out uh the workspace features is really cool i really haven't been in the workspace since i've had sphere but uh, those features added i can certainly understand why that was uh, a very highly requested feature and uh, the fader port features are killer to me as well especially the one uh, I don't know exactly what they're calling the feature but you can hit uh, shift now and it doesn't stay locked on shift 
I'm not, probably not explaining that right, but a lot of times I would hold shift and do a function on the fader port. It would, I wouldn't realize it, but it would still be in shift mode. The shift light would still be on, which is something I brought up in my fader port eight review. I would have preferred maybe for that light to, uh, that shift light to flash and that'll kind of catch my attention and I'll know that it's still in shift mode. Uh, but uh, that's no longer an issue with the update that they made there. So Overall, I'm pleased with the update, but those two features I mentioned, I just think could have been more useful uh, for uh, my workflow. But let me know uh, what do you uh, what do you think of those features that I said. Uh, I'm going to submit a feature request in the forum, and actually, I'll do that before I post this video. So I'll have the links to those feature requests, and you know, if you agree with me and want to see them, then you can follow the links. And uh, and vote on them. Actually, what I might do is I might do a video uh, giving you know five or ten feature requests that I have that I've put in there and see what y'all think. But all right, uh, what do you think about the 5.2 update? What do you think about these new features? What do you think about the features I felt could have been uh, more useful? You know, let me know. Uh, any questions, comments? Let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite you to check out my podcast, The Faders Up Podcast, where we discuss pro audio and beyond. We discuss everything from recording to gear to the music business. So if you're an audio engineer, songwriter, recording artist, music producer, this podcast is for you. We recently started season two, and we're going to have a lot of listener questions on this season, as well as some really cool guests that's lined up and giveaways as well. So if you've already subscribed and followed the podcast, thank you. If you haven't, it's available on all platforms, and I encourage you to check it out. Also, rate it and review it and let us know what you think.